Hello, we had a viewer question about the best indoor cycling apps. So there are many out there. I'm not familiar with all of them, but I do have experience with three. The first one is Ruby, and this is very realistic. I have actually never used it, but some of the athletes I coach have, and they really liked it because they could bike real roads almost in real time, and I think they even had other riders around them to sort of enjoy it with. The two that I'm most familiar with and will recommend today are the big ones that most people know of, Zwift and Trainer Road. They both have their benefits. Zwift is great because it's a virtual world and it's a little bit more social and more interesting and possibly more motivating because of that social aspect. You can race people in real time, they have structured workouts you can do. You can toggle the settings to suit you with your structured workouts if you want the terrain to actually feel real, like you actually feel the up and downs, you can keep that. Or if you just wanna focus on those intervals and have no terrain disruptions, you can take that off in the settings. So there's lots of things you can do to tweak Zwift to make it good for what you're doing on that day. Zwift also has a lot of races and tons of people love that. They find that very motivational. So that is why Zwift is good. Now, let's talk about Trainer Road. Trainer Road is definitely not the virtual world. It's not as interesting, it's not as social, but if you want your bang for your buck with training and intervals and structured training, I would go with Trainer Road. In fact, that's what I'm using now exclusively. I don't even use Zwift anymore. Trainer Road is definitely a little bit boring with the interface. You're just kind of staring at bars, looking at the countdown timer for your intervals, but they have a huge selection of workouts in their workout library. So there's kind of something for everybody, all time durations. You can do workouts from like 30 minutes up until several hours long. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Trainer Road, I do find that their workouts tend to be a little on the difficult side, especially as you approach FTP and zones above FTP. So that would be FTP or threshold, your VO2, your anaerobic. Um, I do a lot of VO2 training through Trainer Road, but I end up tweaking those workouts a bit or just being very careful with my selection because I know that a lot of those workouts would be beyond me and I wouldn't be able to complete them. So keep that in mind if you go with Trainer Road, choose your workouts carefully. So to summarize, all of these indoor training apps have their, their benefits. Uh, it just depends what you're looking for. If you just want to focus on structured training and you don't need anything to distract you from that, like a virtual world or uh, other people to bike with, then look into Trainer Road. If you really enjoy having those other people around you, you wanna even maybe chat or do races while you're riding, look into Zwift or maybe Ruby or many of the other ones that are out there.